Hey, 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 hey. You are now live. We're telling your people, your subscribers, that you started a live Instagram. We will get started in about 30 seconds. And my apologies for being late. I was on a live Instagram, a follower and subscriber asked me to attend. And actually I was trying to do the live Instagram on my phone, or I was trying to do the live YouTube on my phone and I didn't know how to do it. So I'm on my laptop. So I haven't been on live Instagram in a while. Thank you very much for all of those that are joining. And for those of you that do not know me, let me introduce myself. Or for those of you that do know me, let me reintroduce myself. Good afternoon, good evening, or good morning, depending on wherever you live. My name is Teacher Will. I am from America. My native language is English. And the beautiful thing is, for those of you that are new to ATW or you've been with me for a while, I have a saying, English is for you and for me. It is a global international language and you have the right to speak English. For those of you that are asking, well, hey, teacher Will, how do I, how do I start? What do I do? What are the steps involved? I typically have a saying that I like to subscribe and believe in, and it's called the G triple P. You have a goal, the understanding why you want to learn the language. Then you have a plan, a map, a roadmap a plan. So you have a goal, then you have a plan, then you pray. For those that don't believe in prayer, call it belief in yourself. And then you produce, you actually do something. So thank you for all those that have joined the live YouTube. I really, really appreciate it. And remember, motivation, inspiration through English. Motivation, inspiration through English. I believe in life, but particularly through English, as I have my yo, yo, yo shirt on, motivation, inspiration through English. I believe all things are possible, particularly as it relates to English with motivation, inspiration. And we do this through, or one method of being motivated and inspired is through English. So today's subject, what I want to talk to you about today is how to improve your vocabulary, how to improve your vocabulary. Now, part of the English language, a large percentage of the English language has to deal with vocabulary. Synonyms for vocabulary would include words or a lexicon. So Today, I want to talk with you about how you can improve your vocabulary. Before we talk about improve, let's talk about steps as it relates to learning vocabulary, learning English words, regardless if you're just learning the language or you have been learning the language for a while. So this video, hopefully, will include those individuals that or elementary, just learning the language, all the way up to upper, intermediate, and near native. So I want to give you, so let's say, four steps as it relates to learning your vocabulary. Now, if you do take notes, get a pen and paper, yes, this video will be saved, but let's be engaged in the process, all right? So four particular steps for learning vocabulary, all right? The first step is you want to define, come up with the definition and meaning of the word. So let's say, for example, you have a word, and I will type it in the column, comment section, you have a word called mundane, and you don't know what that word means. Well, one of the things that you need to do is, is you need to define it. You need to come up with the meaning of the word. What does the word mundane mean? All right. So first step, definition, meaning. Second step is you want to use the word, in this case, mundane, in a sentence. I find this video to be very mundane. Or is he, is teacher Will, a man, is teacher Will mundane? Why are you so mundane when you want to learn English? So second step is that you use the word in a sentence. The third step, 
when you know what mundane means, first step, define the word. Second step, use the word in a sentence. Third is you want to find as many and come up with as many synonyms as possible. Mundane, boring, lackadaisical, melancholy, for example. All right. So third step is to find synonyms. Now, the fourth step is extremely, extremely important because in order for you to remember whatever the particular vocabulary word is, what you need to do is, is you need to use that word as much as possible so that you begin to remember it. And notice, and please remember, when you're learning words, you do not learn words in isolation of themselves. So whether or not the word is mundane, loquacious, interesting, marvelous, when you're learning words, you learn words in sentences, context, and situation. So if you want to remember what the word mundane means is that you need to use that word as much as possible to make it immersed in your language. That means you have to speak it. That means you have to write it. All right. So use the word as much as possible. So with that being said, let me review the four steps for learning vocabulary. First step, find the definition or the meaning. Second step, use the word in a sentence or question. Third step, find as many synonyms or associated words as possible. And fourth step is to use that word as much as possible to make it part of your daily vocabulary, to make it part of your daily living, to be immersed in that particular vocabulary word so that that word is now active and becomes readily available in your mind. So those are the four steps as it relates to learning English vocabulary. Now, once you learn vocabulary, regardless of whatever particular level that you're at, oftentimes people have said to me, okay, teacher, well, well, you know what? I have this particular vocabulary word and I can't seem to remember that word. Or you've asked me numerous times, how is it that I can improve, make better my vocabulary? I know, for example, certain words are readily available, but I want different ways of saying uh, smart. Instead of saying smart, I want to say genius. I want to say clever. So are there particular ways how you can improve your English vocabulary? And to answer to that question is yes. And one of the things that I want to do, and I see your comments, and so one of the things hopefully that I can do is, is that I can answer some of your questions through the comments. So in this particular video, I want to give you six tips, six tips or suggestions, six tips or suggestions to improve your vocabulary. Suggestion number one, suggestion number one. All right, let me type that in. Suggestion number one is that you want to invest or buy or have readily available an English dictionary and or a thesaurus. You want to have a dictionary and a thesaurus. There are many different dictionaries out there, ranging from Longman's Dictionary to uh, Webster's Dictionary. You can have a physical copy, a copy of a dictionary or thesaurus, or you can actually buy or buy a hard copy or have an online version. You can decide on the particular dictionary and thesaurus that you want to invest in. And different dictionaries, if you have a dictionary, not only can you find the meaning of the word if you use it online, but you also can get different pronunciations, whether that pronunciation is in English, American English with American pronunciation or British pronunciation. So invest in a good dictionary. In addition to that, you also want to invest in or use a resource online, a thesaurus. A thesaurus gives you synonyms, similar words, or antonyms, opposite of the words, all right? A good resource that you can use is thesaurus.com. So the first tip 
to improve, improve your vocabulary is by having a dictionary and a thesaurus. Suggestion number two, I will li I like the call, go back to the roots. You want to go back to your roots. Now, what do you mean by that, teacher Will? Well, the English language is mainly derived from Latin and Greek, though the English language has observed or absorbed, excuse me, absorbed other words from different languages. Going back to the roots, what I mean by that is by having an understanding of prefixes and suffixes. Prefixes and suffixes. They are called, if we use the correct grammatical terminology, prefixes and suffixes are called morphemes, which is the shortest unit of the word. A prefix is comes before the word and the suffix comes after the word. So one good way to improve your vocabulary is by understanding prefixes, comes before the word. So for example, I will give you a couple examples of that. If you have a prefix meaning X, X roommate, X president, X means former. Another example, if you have a prefix such as I-N or I-L, indeterminate, e illogical, Ill or I-L or I-N is the prefix means not. If you have, for example, you have other prefixes out there, bicycle, binary, bi means to. So when you have an understanding of prefixes, you can have an opportunity to improve your vocabulary. The same would apply as it relates to suffixes. Prefix comes before the word, suffixes come at the end of the word. Example of a suffix. For example, D-O-M. D-O-M is a pre prefix that means the state of being. So for example, freedom, stardom means a state of being. The word ends in D-O-M. D-O-M is a state of being. Another example of a pref a suffix, excuse me, another example of a suffix, the suffix ISM. ISM. Have you heard of a word or words such as secularism, escapism, egalitarianism, Buddhism, for example? Those are words that end in S I S M. And that particular suffix of ISM means a doctrine or belief. Another example of a suffix coming after the word. You have the suffix SHIP. SHIP, the suffix means a position held. Words associated with that suffix you have, for example, internship hardship, friendship. So suffix ending in S-H-I-P would and means a position held. So suggestion number two is going back to your roots, having an understanding of suffixes and prefixes. Suggestion number three, which I really, really like. In this day and age in 2020, there are tons of English vocabulary games that you can play, whether those games are hard copy of games or whether those games are online. Games that I particularly like that are physical games and they're also available online, you have Search A Word, you have Scrabble. I also recommend that you do search of words or you do crossword puzzles. And English games is a wonderful way that you can improve your vocabulary. You can do those games by yourself. You can do it with more than one person, with your family, friends, or loved ones. But at the end of the day, have fun and play an English vocabulary game. That is suggestion number three. Suggestion number four to how you possibly can improve your vocabulary. Now, I like this one. Be a teacher. That's right. 
you can be a teacher. One of the most effective ways that you can improve your vocabulary is if you teach someone vocabulary, because remember, you use vocabulary in context and situation. So one of the things that I do recommend is, is that you can teach vocabulary to someone at a lower level of English than you are. So say, for example, you've been studying English right now for over a year and a half. You consider yourself to be an intermediate individual. Teach someone vocabulary. Be a teacher. Why is that important? Because when you are a teacher and you teach someone else, you have to be able to explain those vocabulary words in situation and context to the person at their particular English level. So be a teacher. We are teachers. We are students. Each one, teach one. Suggestion number four is to be a teacher. Suggestion number five. Suggestion number five. I might have to sing this one. You need to read, 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 read. You need to read. That's right. You need to read. Read, read, read. And I spelled read wrong. Forgive me. I spelled it like, no, I spelled it right. Excuse me. You need to read. Reading is fundamental. If you want to become a fluent English speaker, you need to read. What is the value of reading? Reading is extremely important because it will expose you to new vocabulary. It will expose you to different types of reading novels, literary works, magazines. And then if you then ask me the question, what should I read, teacher? Well, first tip for you or suggestion, you read what you enjoy. You read what interests you. But reading is fundamental. Not only will it expose you to different types of works and literary works, novels, magazines, blogs, whatever it is. However, it also has the opportunity for you to use your imagination. So read, read read. All right. And the last suggestion, suggestion number six, it might sound a little repetitive or it might sound a little obvious. One of the things that you have to do is, is that you have to speak and engage in conversation. That's right, you have to engage and speak in conversations. Now, let's say it like this. If you say, oh, teacher Will, I don't have anybody that I can speak English with. Okay, well, let's say in a world with 7 billion people and you have no one to speak with, you can have conversations with yourself. Talk to yourself, how are you? I'm fine, what are you doing? You can speak to yourself and have conversations with yourself. But at the end of the day, you have to engage, you have to speak with others. There are many different ways that you can engage in conversations, speaking by yourself, being parts of WhatsApp groups or Telegram groups or language exchange partnerships, or you can invest in a private tutor, whether it's online or face-to-face. -face. There are language schools and universities, but you have to speak. You have to engage in conversation. The only way that you improve your vocabulary is if you apply action and you can speak. Engage. Engage means to do something. Engage means movement. So you have to speak and you have to engage in conversation. And once you do that, for those of you that might be a little timid or might be a little shy, those conversations of engagement become a little easier. Why? Because you have done it. You have proven to yourself that, hey, you know what? I can have a conversation. And also there are various different resources out there that you can actually create for yourself or even just type on the internet, conversation starters. Talk about the day, talk about the weather, talk about your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, what favorite job but you have to engage and you have to speak. 
So with that being said, let me quickly review the six suggestions to improve your vocabulary. Suggestion number one, dictionary and thesaurus. Suggestion number two, go back to your roots by understanding prefixes and suffixes. Suggestion number three, various play in English game. Suggestion number four, be a teacher. Suggestion number five, read, read, read. And the last suggestion, speak and engage in conversation. Now, with that being said, one of the last things I also want to mention on this live YouTube is, is particular websites that might have, or then if you then ask me the question, hey, teacher, well, well, what resource can I use? Are there any books out there or any resource or applications that you would recommend? And there are various different books out there that you can do. I didn't so much focus on books on this live YouTube. If you want me to do that at another uh, venture, I will. But I do have for you particular four particular websites that I recommend that I think are really good. And uh, let me just type that. One website out there that I recommend that you can do is, is Vocab Test. All right, Vocab Test. A really good resource where you can understand it, you know, test yourself. And it relates to different vocabularies ranging from like say grade one all the way up to grade 12. So that is a very good resource for you. Okay, another resource that I really, really enjoy is, is Quizlet, quizlet.com, all right? So Quizlet is another resource website that you have readily available at your fingertips. Website recommendation number three, and I'm actually gonna be using this, and I have used this in the past to brush up on certain my foreign language that I know. Memrise.com. Memrise.com is a wonderful, wonderful application. And a recent, uh, actually I found this two days ago that I, I think is really a, a very nice website, particularly if you are a visual person, is visuwords.com. Those are just some of the websites that are readily available there to help you improve your vocabulary. Also, most of us, most individuals in the world right now have smartphone applications uh, and smartphones. So you can also look on your phone to see particular applications that will help you improve your vocabulary. I believe it's as with anything as it relates to vocabulary. Learning vocabulary, you learn by step by step. You learn it in situation and context. You learn vocabulary that is relative to your particular life. And you do have the opportunity to make vocabulary fun and interesting. When learning, recognize and realize that it's okay to make a mistake. If you don't understand what a particular word means, the more you use it, the more you make it part of your everyday life, it will then become real to you. So vocabulary is step by step, by engagement and by having fun. Remember that I said motivation, inspiration through English. That's kind of what I wanted to share with you as it in relates to learning vocabulary and improving vocabulary. So what I want to do is, is I want to take a couple minutes and uh, look at the comments, and if you have additional questions, we'll take about two to three minutes. I want to be respectful of your time, um, and let me look through the questions and comments that you have right now. So if you have any comments, please let me know, or if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll answer them. I'm going to start from the beginning and read some of the comments, and while I do have a question for you, was this valuable? Was it useful? Uh, let me know. Thumbs up. Things that you liked or didn't like. Please, I like uh, feedback, both areas of development, things that I did well in areas of development. So let me know if this video uh, or this on this particular topic was of value to you. And one of the reasons why I wanted to do this was is because many of you, many of you family members have been asking me, how can I improve my vocabulary? So hopefully it has been of service. Okay, Turkin says English is a global international language. Uh, I hope the streaming didn't stop. 
Uh, Anas says, share the live with your friends and, and family. Uh, hey, Mohammed from Syria. Okay, good. Mohammed's defining it. Hello, Maria. How are you? Uh, stuff good. Okay, so Mohammed again is doing it. Uh, Sheikh says, could you please advise how uh, to find cinnamons as one of your YouTube sets? I gave you that example in terms of thesaurus.com. Also, Dictionary will give you synonyms as well. Uh, I'm just looking at the comments very quickly. Uh, yes, you can. Dictionary can either be a physical dictionary or online dictionary. Webster's, Longman, um, Oxford are good examples, for example. Uh, okay, hearts up, thanks up, sorry. I'm just looking real quick. Hey, uh, Life is a Gift, remember OGM. Turkey's in the house, Mavi, thank you. Good suggestion. Okay, good. I use a dictionary all the time. Good. Life is a gift. Remember, says that. I couldn't. Okay. I couldn't listen to your first team teacher. Well, okay. Again, the six tips to improve your vocabulary. Step one, dictionary thesaurus. Step two, go back to the roots by understanding prefixes and suffixes. Step three, English games, Scrabble, Google, crossword puzzles. Suggestion number four, be a teacher. Suggestion number five, read, read, read. And suggestion number six, engage in conversation speaking. All right. I will definitely save this uh, YouTube video so you have access for it. Um, I want to thank each of you for coming and attending. It's been a very, very long time since I've done a uh, uh, YouTube live. So I hope there was some value from it. Um, I will actually be doing more YouTube lives uh, because I've neglected the ATW family over here on YouTube. I am on so other social medias, but I've been neglecting the ATW YouTube family. So I need to spend more time with us. Thank you for everyone that has joined. If you find this video to be of value, please share Ask underscore teacher will with your family and your friends uh, if this video is a blessing to them. Hopefully it will be. So please share ask underscore teacher will share this video that you think that someone uh, might need it. And final point, if there are any suggestions that you have to improve and that you're doing to improve your vocabulary, please write them down in the comment sections, because as you know, sharing is caring. 2020, motivation, inspiration through English. Thank you very much for joining. And please, in this new normal, stay home, stay in prayer, and stay safe. Thank you so much for joining.